Hey guys, welcome back to another POV. Today I'm out with the Sony a7R5 and the Viltrox 20 f2.8. So this is a 20mm prime lens f2.8 full frame. I'll link it below in the description if you want to go and check it out. And I'm just going to see how it performs today. Now, one of the reasons why I'm enjoying this focal length of 20mm f2.8 from Viltrox is because it is pretty wide, to be honest with you, and especially for street stuff it's quite nice. You can get kind of close to people with the 20 mil. The idea of today is I kind of want to get some like close up personal shots for people, just everyday life in London. And then at the same time, get some kind of cityscape shots, some landscape shots, that type of thing. And it's a nice little test for the lens as well to see how the lens copes with autofocus and stuff like that. Although it feels like it's absolutely just about to hammer it down, there is supposed to be a bit of sun coming through today, so I'm hoping and I'm waiting for that because I want those nice harsh lights to get those shadows and harsh light shots coming through. I can understand French, ah, but I, I, I cannot talk it. Do you understand it? Yeah, me, I think it's the same. Does it, it, does it open? Here, this one. Third floor, refugee centre, office. Okay. Okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. See you later. Uh, Tutu, this looks really sick. This is really cool. I mean, I don't really take photos of graffiti, but it looks sick. As I walk past, to see whether or not it's a style of photography that can work. Because I want to kind of incorporate that into the videos as well as doing what I normally do. So, the shot I just got, I thought, that's actually pretty sick. That focus really quick. I mean, obviously I need to hone my skills, look for maybe better shots than just walking past someone like that. But for example, this dude here down, let's see if we can get something as we stroll past. Yeah, see, so it does work. So you don't have to like stand there, frame it up and, and get the shot. You can simply just walk past, point and shoot almost. It's nice having the lighting maybe this dude. The framing is not great, but if I come this side, this is quite nice. With the light on people, everybody walking two by two. Okay, cool shot up here with the uh, ladies looking at the map. Put it also in silent shooting mode, because then it's not so obvious. Yeah, I quite like that style. I mean, it's not... It's not perfect, but also, you know, it does allow you to get shots that maybe are a bit too intimate in order to, like, frame up or try and get a certain composure. I tried being more purposeful with the shot that I just got. Um, it, again, this is a new style I'm learning. Don't judge me, I'm trying. It's quite a nice little shot of the guy just stood in front of uh, Big Ben. Okay, so there's quite a nice shot here of just like the trees and then the top of Big Ben just changing the settings. So we're gonna go ISO 100, we're at f2.8. Gonna put it on center, focus area. Really simple shot, but autumnal, as it is really pretty, pretty chilly today. Get the, uh, the cyclist, as you just heard him screaming. As you just heard him screaming at the people because they crossed in front of him. I might perch myself here just for a minute to see if I can get maybe another cyclist. It is so cold. I'm not used to this cold, man. I think I might have to work out a schedule. I don't know if you guys can agree with me, but I think I'm going to have to work out a schedule where for six months of the year, I'm in the Northern Hemisphere, and for the other six, 
I need to be in the southern somehow. I think that's my goal for 2024 and onwards is to spend half and half because, uh, well, i just not a fan of the cold. Time it right, should be able to get. Wow. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> sick. What about this dude? So you guys saw recently, I did. Uh, I posted a photo from here, which did really well, and obviously everybody loves it. I mean, it's not because of me, but. It's funny that there's now a queue, which is, I mean, I feel like I have to address it. Like, this is kind of ridiculous. There's a queue waiting to get that shot, which is, yeah. The sun has come out. If I come over here, you have the, the shadow of people walking on the bridge. But ideally, I want somebody on each pillar, which would be the ideal photo, the lens. And actually, I've got the shot. So the lens itself, again, reiterating this it is a 20 mil f 2.8 from viltrox small compact super light really nice and honestly so far it hasn't missed a bit again being more purposeful about when i'm taking those kind of like quiet walk past shots trying to get the photo i think that's quite nice i think that's a, a nice street styley photo and again, mixing it in with just different variations of different types of shots, I think it's gonna make these types of POVs more full and rounded. So I've got this nice little natural frame here. I'm gonna to wait to get, you can probably get a different angle of this, which is nice, because we get actually the, the light coming in here. So again, sometimes you'll look at frames and you'll be like, that's really nice. And then if you just slightly move, to the left or to the right you might get a completely different shot okay cool i'm happy with that shot it's very nice we shall continue on the sun is coming out and it's uh we're getting some nice shadows some nice harsh lighting it's just i don't know it's really nice i love going out at night as you all know i love night photography i love the aesthetic of night photography but there's something about a nice winter's sunny day with the 20 mil f2.8 it is a really nice focal length to get a shot here I mean he didn't get here in time but we got a shot of him running through the people really cool guy coming towards me so I'm gonna try and get one of those walk past shots that I've got so far which I think might have worked as you can see he was definitely a vibe a lot can be said and I've said this in other videos a lot can be said for a light setup this is a super light setup and the way that I'm carrying this today, all I have on me, I don't have a bag, I just have the camera with the Osmo and then I have the Peak Design clip and quite simply, all I'm doing is whenever I'm not shooting, I'm just popping it in there like that and then I'm just walking nice and simple, hands free. So, it's pretty cool. This is actually such a nice, simple shot. I don't know why I've never got this shot before. Nice. And this is my food, don't worry. I put it here so I could get the photo. Could I please get a... Good, how are you? Could I please get a decaf oat flat white? I just took myself... Yeah, man. Uh, Amazing, wow. Are you using the regular lenses, right? Yeah, this is the, it's a Viltrox 20, uh, wow, F2.8. Your uh, 
Do you have Instagram? Did you work in Swallow Street at all? Yeah, man, this is sick. These are really good. Right, Freddy, good to meet you. Good to meet you. Again, I know I've met you before, but <laughs> good to see you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Enjoy this. See you later. As always, guys, if you are coming to London, make sure you hit up Hagen. Not sponsored at all, uh, but Hagen, the Hagen Project on Instagram, number one coffee in London, hands down. Great staff, great coffee, great vibes. And if you are in London, make sure you go and check them out. I'm currently in Liverpool Street Station, and wow, it is busy. Um, but might be nice to get a couple of shots in here, like this one of the people looking up at the board. Nice little symmetrical shot of people coming into the station and out of the station. In a nice morning walk through London. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've been using the Viltrox 20mm f2.8. I am where I need to be. I will be using this lens going forward for other videos, maybe night time, so subscribe if you were wanting to see that. I also have another video coming out soon with a 50mm f1.8 that I'll be using at night time, so subscribe if you want to see that. All my presets are linked below. With all that being said, create more, stress less, and I'll see you in the next one.